Okay. Air to V2. Let's see how it works. I'm not recording the whole thing because it will probably uh, be a three hour process, but i just show you something maybe in stop motion or something like that. I just want you to to see a bit how it uh, how it's building the the robot. Okay, it starts.
series the process has just finished so the little robot is there so I'm going to take it first and then I'm going to check the object so here is the R2 D2 object this is uh, this is a solid object uh, it's been uh, done in uh, a hour approximately it's been done in half quality and uh, we can see that uh, the proportion of the robot are fully respected um, that we have here the left arm of the robot that we have here the front the front panel of the robot that we have here the right arm well the the shape of the robot is fully respected we have a, a, a few little mistakes here you see something here but globally this is not something that you can't work it out here it's uh, something that is respected the front the rear robot and especially the it's very well uh, it's very well done it's it's a solid object very solid object and you've got the the feet of the robot here the three feet robot and uh, well at first it's not uh, an object that is uh, typically done for uh, 3d printing it's uh, copy paste it's copy paste from a site where you have a 3d uh, generic 3d objects uh, and that's probably why there is something that is not perfect here down for example when the process of printing started after the feet that are perfectly done the the printer had to to decide to build the the bottom of the robot and here here are the only mistakes the only mistake stands there you see there because here you can see that there is something that went wrong on the first steps before doing before doing the main part of the robot uh, we have uh, a little imperfection at bottom because uh, uh, in fact uh, there wasn't something that uh, helped the the printer to to prepare the bottom side here of the robot if, when when there is nothing he here just under the robot uh, this is an empty space in fact and the printer doesn't like empty spaces under the objects you've got to put something here so that it is not an empty space and the printer can climb here normally on this space and build something that is uh, neat and something that is perfectly done so it's a, a little mistake because I'm new uh, to 3D printing and next time I'll try to check uh, to check if there is not empty spaces under the objects especially in this kind of position but uh, I don't see it like something uh, like a total failure uh, I just I just have to uh, make a little manual work on this robot and it will be uh, uh, perfect in the end but it's a uh, it's a